Okay, I wanted to do a quick tour of the H quad, um, and then we'll do a, a little test flight to kind of show you where I'm at with it. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, I've had some weight issues with it. Um, so I've done a couple things to mitigate that. The first being, I had four of these landing gear on there, and I've taken them off. Um, that, that cut about 180 grams, which is fantastic. And then the other thing I did, which added a little bit, but I drilled a bunch of vent holes in the bottom to vent the ESCs and also reduce a little weight. The, the next step I want to do is I'm going to eliminate this GoPro case. The GoPro is not in there because I'm using it to film this. Um, but I'm going to eliminate the GoPro case and just probably mount the GoPro bare because that's about uh, 90 grams or so. And then this big block here that I have for this secondary camera, uh, I'm going to do something with that as well. Um, try to simplify that a little bit. It's a little bit big and bulky for what it's what's needed. So um, so far doing good. I, I'm about to about seven minute flight times, and that's maximum. Um, it'll auto land when the battery gets low. So um, with that in mind, uh, I think we're going to go take it for a flight. I do have the uh, DJI NASA control board on there. Um, and it might fly a little bit differently because I don't have the GoPro and I've been I've been doing all my flights with actual gear with the GoPros in and everything to try to get a feel of what it's going to be like when I'm actually using it for FPV. Um, but I think we're going to take it outside and we're going to do some uh, altitude hold and some GPS hold and, and give you guys a little tour of it. Okay, so we're outside and we're all plugged in ready to go. I do have a uh, Turnigy 3000 amp uh, battery in there. And it's just a standard, it's not a nanotech or anything. But with the weight I've cut, I might step up to, you know, a four or 5,000. I'm at about a 40% uh, weight to thrust ratio now, so I've gotten it well below the 50%, and it's, it's handling a lot better. But I'd like to get the flight times up, you know, closer to 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes being the max or somewhere along there. So um, I guess what I'm going to do now is we're going to set the GoPro down, and uh, I'm going to kind of try to talk through this. Okay, so hopefully I'll be able to do this and get it all in frame. Uh, gosh, I hope so. I, I, can't, I don't have a preview on this camera, so here it goes. So now, first thing I'm going to do is arm it. And uh, the DJI, when it, not, when it arms, automatically spins up the propellers. And if I don't push the throttle for a couple seconds, it'll automatically disarm them. And it does that when you throttle down the land as well. It just automatically disarm it, which is kind of neat. So right now, the uh, little red light is blinking, which tells me I don't have a GPS signal. Um, actually, it's, let's go take a closer look at that. Okay, so here we go. The GPS is blinking three red and one amber. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I'd have to look it up. I know it means that there's a, a shortage of GPS satellites locked in, um, but I don't know exactly how many. There's different codes for different ones I don't have memorized. I'll, I'll post it in the uh, annotation. So, um, okay, well, let's give it a go. Ho hopefully we'll get a GPS lock. Actually, you know what? I'm going to reset the battery. Okay, I've replugged the battery. I'm not going to arm it. I'm going to let the GPS see if the GPS will acquire. I am kind of in a little bit of a, as you can see here, a little bit of an, an area. I want it to be in the shade so that uh, we could see it. But um, let's, let's see if the GPS will acquire out here. Okay, I've given it about, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds, and um, the status doesn't seem to have changed. So we're going to go ahead and try it. We can definitely do some altitude hold, and um, maybe there's enough satellites for it to get a little bit of a lock. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're going to arm it again. Throttle up. And now right, right now I'm taking off in altitude hold mode. Just in a couple trims. So this is just altitude hold mode. Um, in the center of the throttle stick. So if you can see my, my sticks here in the bottom, hopefully, I don't know. But it's pretty much holding an altitude. So uh, I'm going to lower it a little bit. Let's tell it that I want to come down. And then center my, try to center my stick again. And it's pretty much holding it now again. Now even if I turn it and yaw, it might drift down, but it should come back up. Okay, maybe not. Just bring it back a little closer to us. Now I'm going to flip the GPS hold switch and see. Hopefully it doesn't result in a spectacular crash. I'll hold on. Get it. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so now GPS hold is on. And my hands are completely off the throttle. So it looks like it has acquired enough satellites to hold a position. And it has a pretty good lock because it's staying within, right now, it looks like to be about a foot or so. It looks like it, it is drifting to the left. There's a little bit of a wind now. Um, let's see if it comes back over. Actually, that might be my trims taking effect, too. I don't quite have this thing fully trimmed out and balanced. Um, let's bring it back over a little bit. It's still in GPS lock now, but I can, I can still move it around. Okay, so we'll let go of the sticks here. So our hands are completely off the sticks. Let me just adjust a little trim, see if I can get that to level out a little bit. Wow, that looks to be pretty stable. Again, my hands are completely off right now. And it's just holding in position. And, you know, if I, if I move it and I let go, it should settle out at some point. Looks like it came right back to that position. Let's go back over a little bit more. I'm going to settle it over here a little bit. Hopefully I'm not blocking it. And let go. And now we're locked in over here, it looks like. So that's altitude and GPS lock right there. So this thing is, is pretty rock solid. I mean, there's still some tweaking that, that I need to do, but um, overall I'm very pleased with the setup. Should make a, a pretty good FPV flyer. It's just, it's just holding that spot pretty well flawlessly. Do some y'all. And one thing I don't like about the this, I don't know if it's exclusive to mine. Actually, I didn't mean to bring it up that high, but lower it a little bit. Now, I am seeing the red light battery indicator now, but that usually means I still have a minute or two of flight. But when these when these things yaw, they kind of weeble wobble around a little bit. I mean, I guess that's to be expected. To now, that wasn't me gunning the throttle there. That was it adjusting when I let go of the yaw. I've switched it back to altitude mode. Here's the interesting thing. So now I'm in altitude mode, right? Watch this. I'm gonna flip the I'm gonna flip the GPS switch. And it, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can almost see it kind of grab. You know, it's like being a little lower because it is getting low. Batteries are getting low today. But if if I have some momentum, right? And then I flip that GPS switch, it just stops what everything is doing and just levels right out and, and stops in that spot which is kind of neat again i'll flip it off oh it's time to land definitely because it's uh okay so um we just did the flight test demo outside the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in the gopro into the uh, actual frame and um, fly it around the warehouse a little bit here and just kind of get an idea of uh, vibration. I know the, the props need to be balanced better and the problem with these particular props is 
uh, the motor shaft is too small for the the hole in the prop even with the the adapter that they give you the little adapter it's still a little bit tight so it it could be rattling around in there a little bit um which isn't ideal i do have some new props on the way which will hopefully help with that but um okay i hope you enjoy the uh this video